Arizona. Just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. This video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Jump Show. Not an Yes. Mm-hmm. Lots of help. We need it. Dr. Green Thumb Show live on Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and the home site, www.bereal.tv. What's poppin'? To my right, Mr. Goodlight, DJ C Minus. What up, everyone? Happy Thursday. How you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? And the legendary Psycho Leezy to his right. Hello, everybody. Word up. Thursday. Feeling good over here. That's right. It's cheers. That's a nice splash you got on the squeeze hat and the, sh and the button down B. Psycholessshop.com. Flavors. Hell good yeah. looks, brother. The her too? Squeeze. Yeah. Uh, in the treehouse, the treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Was... Yo, we're doing good, B. How are you? Oh, I'm just bigging it right here. You know what I'm saying? Being bool. That's right. Like always. <laughs> and our special guest today up in here. My man Diego, formerly Lil Xan. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm I'm feeling good. Thank y'all for having me. Man. Thanks for sitting at the table with us, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a good time, man. Word up. And we also have the illustrious E Zone in the building, aka E Far. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Over here casually making SHO pills. <laughs> as much as uh I can. I'm so, I don't know, I, I I took some yesterday and I know so I got caught, dude. What do you mean you got caught? I got caught like um, I saw it in the comments. Oh, oh yeah. Like I was, I, I was Eric Bobo yesterday. Yeah, you were Eric oh, Bobo for real. Yeah. Without glasses, though. You okay. know how much more embarrassing it is without glasses. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, like you just, yeah, you're just going in. So I figured I'm like, this time if I'm gonna take some, well, it's gonna I mean, be on the show. I mean, it was yeah. eight, nine. 100 milligrams of SHO. I mean, what you expect is going to happen, by? Because I still took two more of the morning show. That's why. Oh, uh, damn. So SHO um, is basically cannabis. It's pressed cannabis, right? Yeah. No, it's not uh, uh, processed through alcohol or BHO or any of that stuff. It's like purest form. When you take it in a gel cap and it hits, it hits heavy. Open and my man over here went to Disneyland the other day and rocked seven of them. <laughs> and then the next morning took two more. Is that what you did? Yeah, on the show. Like to. I mean, what'd you think was gonna happen? I just met. I was like, man, I had a good time last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, let me just try to. <laughs> as long as you had a good time. That's that's what, that's what I that's what made me take yeah. them again the next morning. But I'm like, oh, this is. It's the weed is not a drug. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You usually just do that when you're doing like real drugs. You're like, oh, we can keep the party going. Yeah. But, you know, then it. it no, weed it, is that. I'll slow you down. Yeah, no, it'll be like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll slow down and we'll eat stuff. I'm going to pump your brakes real quick. Oh, man. <laughs> I've, had it, I've had it. I've had it pump my brakes several times. See, B Real, <laughs> I want to get to that level where you got. Cause oh, I, you, I don't know if you want to get I thought I was going to get to that level where you said, not that I, I wanted my, my girl to like, Pick me up on the front. I don't think she could. I don't think, <laughs> like I like yeah. I don't. Th I don't. Granted, I don't think she could. She probably just leave me there with a pillow or something. But, but. oh, my wife didn't pick me up. Trust she. She basically <laughs> kicked you. Gesture. Yeah, like, like <laughs> come on, get up. Like, oh but, my god, do I have to? But, uh, but the way you the way you describe it and you say like oh you want like you saw the TV wave or yeah. like I want to see that or I want to get to that <laughs> level. Far too much. 
But why you, you want to feel like that at Disney? Like you want to no, no, no. be all hmm. doped the, out? Like ugh. I feel like I feel that yeah, I that's I, crazy. I feel that I achieved that level there, but I had too much things going on for me. Like I actually was like, look at them lights. I was looking at the parade. Like my girl's like, are you okay? <laughs> like because I was I was there stuck. Like I was like, man, look at that house. This yeah, shit you were tripping. Tight. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, this is tripping. tight right here, bro. I was like, <laughs> who builds this? Like I, yeah, yeah, like, I just, was asking myself those kind of things. See, the yeah. first when you get the hit by the first wave, yeah, it's all vibrant, and you know, like you're in, like, yeah, this is, and you're laid back, everything's funny. But then, if if you really took a lot, that second wave, that's the one that'll put you to sleep Ooh. if you don't find something to get your mind moving, because. Mm. Oh yeah, I it think that's why. I, that's why I have. That's why I choose to do it in places like that because, not for nothing. But like when I was doing real drugs, like I used to feel like, oh man, like I want to have this feeling ev like everywhere. But it, I was just kind of harming my like harming myself at the at that time, you know, like but or just like depleting my quality of life. Whereas like this is gonna like it's not that it's like not that it, it does not deplete my. It the actually quality. heals. It, it, it's it's healing, but at the same yeah. time, like. I get to enjoy a good meal. Like I get to unlock memories in my head that like I probably didn't didn't have before. And yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's a, it's a it's a it's a different appreciation for and you, me. And you slept good that night. Too. Oh, dude, I didn't move. <laughs> I, like I didn't I didn't move at all. Like I I stayed like that's the best too. Yeah. When you get some good sleep, man. There's nothing better than that. The yeah. watch tracker was like you had a solid amount of R of REM or R <laughs> REM sleep. Yeah. Hey, look, that's, that's the one thing with oh. with the SHO yeah. and the RSO. Um, you take it early enough, mm -hmm. and it's a great sleep remedy. You fall asleep, no problem. But see, because the, the struggle is real yeah. if you take enough of it. But the thing is, like the the way I'm doing it is because like my tolerance for weed or, or just cannabis in general is really high. So for me to achieve the normal person type of high where somebody gets like all giddy and goes to the movie, you gotta go further. Yeah, yeah you I have gotta, to go further. Yeah. Like for me to really be like, man, I was into that movie. Can you believe what happened? Like. Mm -hmm. and, and I, 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 it's not, I'm going to say this re recently that I realized that, but I feel that like, okay, you know how like sometimes if you go to like a rodeo, like they'll be like, they'll have somebody be like, nah, nobody can handle that horse, but that person. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's kind of like how it is with the tolerance. <laughs> it's like, yeah. hey bro, don't go for that thousand milligram if you really yeah. ain't about that thousand yeah. milligram life. If you yeah. Ain't, yeah. If you ain't about that thousand milligrams, you leave it alone, baby. I, I, I'll tell you straight up. <laughs> you need to be a Titan for that. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool ride though. It is, it is, but it's a tough ride in the beginning. Body temperature rises oh. up, and then you know. <laughs> I don't have problems going to sleep, so I don't. I definitely don't need that. Like, yeah, yeah. I could drink a beer and go to sleep. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Eric Bobo, <laughs> Eric Bobo could think of sleep and go to yeah, sleep. I yeah, mean, one of those not guys. a problem. Yeah. I'll just close my eyes and I'm out. <laughs> hey Diego, I want to congratulate you because I mean, you know, you went through a whole Thank thing. You. With with that, thank you so much. Went yeah, to the to the efforts of cleaning up and yeah. getting a different perspective, man, and that's everything because not everybody yeah. is able to do that. No, yeah, I appreciate that a lot um, coming from you, man. Uh, yeah, it was tough, and it it ultimately came down to uh, you know people in your life. Like my family had tried to help me so much, my friends had tried to help me, but it it ultimately comes down you have to want to change, right? As a as a person, before you can start getting that help you need, and it, I finally got to a point where I was like, if if I keep going down this path, like I only have three more months left on this planet, so I finally hit rock bottom and and put myself in some programs, and uh, yeah, we have like eighteen months over now. And it's awesome that you recognize that because a lot of yeah. people don't. They just yeah. go and then boom, it's it's done. There yeah. is no coming back. No man, it's just, it's it was scary, man. You know, the withdrawals. I, the withdrawals are like something I wouldn't wish upon like my worst enemy. You know what I mean? Those are like, oof, there's the worst. You know. Um, but you know, I learned how to cope with it, and I don't even crave it no more. And I think a big part of that is uh, I'm a big pothead now. Yeah, that's and, good. And weed has like just helped my mental state just multiple avenues of my life weed has just helped out so much yeah I, I often say man you know like people that are trying to get off of opioids a lot of times um their doctors will provide other stuff that is just another version of it yeah like, exactly to bring you down yeah. off of it but if if any of those folks like went and did cannabis of any style of consumption right with <sighs> the, with enough milligrams they could definitely get off that and 
be on the weed and and be and, straight. And be it helps. Straight. Yeah. It helps, man. Like especially uh, with concentrates, I think too. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love, yeah, I love smoking uh, waxes and, and all types of stuff like that too. I, I'm more a bit more of a flower guy, but yeah, I love it all. I love all aspects of it as medicine and because it, it helps me, you know. So, what's your favorite type of flower you like to smoke? Uh, I like indica. Indica. Yeah, indica hybrids. I'll do sativas, but yeah, I like the couch lot kind of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my thing. Do you do edibles all, at all? I, you know, it's like, man, I get, uh, I get smacked by certain edibles, man. You <laughs> know, it depends on like the milligram and stuff, but the, yeah. yeah, yeah. If it's like a little lower on the doses, I could do it. But if it's pretty strong, yeah, man, it'll, it'll send me on a whole oh, journey. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. It, yeah. it happens over here. People will send us yeah. um, some, some infused like yeah, cookies or yeah. brownies or baked goods and, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, someone will forget to tell the authors <laughs> that on they're on purpose. Yeah. It's a purposeful forget. <laughs> um, Unintentional for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people be on their way down here. Yeah. Right, E Zone? Yep. Yeah. It's the best. Dude. It's the best. Yeah. Even Colton makes some of the best cookies. I feel so. like Colton, like, he adds, like, he's like, I only, I only put. Yeah. Like I don't thing. believe his I milk, only right? put, like, one thing of butter. I feel like he'd be like, oh, roll my R's, if, huh? If he said, <laughs> hey, listen, if Bolton says his, his, uh, baked goods of any kind are 100 milligrams, I'm guessing 150 to two. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> you know You're what I'm saying? You're I, I, I don't think he's telling the truth. He's the hate in those cookies. Yeah, oh, dude, I'll never forget watching E-Zone run out of here and then he came back in like, yo, I just did three of Colton's cookies. Oh, what? And he was God. like, yo, man. He had this look on his face where I could tell he was like, he was fighting. Sometimes, oh yeah. Gotta, sometimes you gotta learn to. Sometimes you gotta learn to respect those things. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta learn to respect those things. I'll, yes, you do. I learned to respect the SHO too. I, you know, I respect it. <laughs> listen, because everybody gives me a little bit of everything. So I tried the uh, RSO that Trace would give me, and my first real connection on that was pretty deep. But when I did the SHO that Cali Blaze gave me, and I did the same amount. Oh my God! It was like, yeah, it was a different <laughs> it was experience. Like, yeah. Yo, it's a oh, different experience. You got to build tolerance can, for that. Can man. you make <laughs> can, can you make RSO cookies? I, I think you can. Um, I don't think I don't think it's, it works crazy. the same way. But but you can't. I don't think you could use. I mean, you can obviously infuse the cookies with yeah, the THC, feel, but I don't think it. you could put like the. You'd have to put the, the RSO on the cookie and then just eat it like that. Yeah. You'd have to mix the yeah. RSO actually Not with the butter it. or oil. Yeah. Not cook it. No, no. 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 You, you would have to mix, like yeah. like Bolton said, you would have to put it in the ingredients. Mm. You know what I mean? And then do the rest. Diego, I got, a, I got a question to ask you. Yeah. You still eating hot Cheetos? Oh man, <laughs> uh, not as much anymore. Not as much. Not as much. But uh, yeah, that story was funny, wasn't it? I mean, cause like, look for like, I have a food blog, so like, I get it to eat a lot of different stuff, yeah. man. And it's like sometimes, like, I'm not really big on hot stuff, bro, cause like. You know, I get the, the, the heartburns. I get sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to get those yeah. from the hot Cheetos, too. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, you get that, those kind oh, yeah. of stuff. I really stay, yeah, yeah. stay, a lot, uh, stay away from it. Yeah. I just wanted, like, now that you're here, I wanted to ask you, like, how much did you exactly eat? Yeah, that, you that, that's a very good question because I ate two bags just, like, back to back, you know. The probably, dollar bag? Not like the big. Like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the dollar bag. Yeah, like yeah. the dollar bag. Industrial yeah, yeah, yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, like, I, I, I threw up, like, like, acid reflex, vomit. Oh, whatever man. Oh, man. and it, it and i could tell that it like it was blood you know blood looks different than the cheeto stuff but it was just a little bit you yeah. know so i so i just went to the hospital as a precaution they said i was fine whatever but i make this video because i'm about to go on tour the next day so i'm letting my fans know yo i'm still gonna make it on tour like just had a little hospital scare next day at the airport one of the blogs picks up that story about me going to the hospital <laughs> And they used the word overdose. Oh, and then man. every blog from that <laughs> thing just, it was like a domino effect. Like CNN picked up the overdose part. Then all the big blogs and overdose this, over And then that's what made it to like this big, oh, he overdosed off hot Cheetos kind of I, thing. I, you know what? Because from what you tell from what you tell me right there, the blood came from the force of you just throwing up. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it, that's what it will happen. Like when you throw up, like especially like 
Damn. If you've been off a of bender before, and like you know when you're just throwing up, just and it's not even it's not even water. It's it's you're just there like no, definitely that it yeah. just freaked me out. You know, like it just freaked me out enough to go. But it's just so funny how the media like took that and made it like the biggest like thing. It felt like. Everywhere I go, that's like that was my thing for like a whole year. It was people coming up to me offering that's, me hot cheetos. But did you did that's, you get did you get hooked up though? Like when the movie I, came out, bro. Like, I no, but I, before the movie came out though, uh, I actually yeah, I got to meet the the guy who created hot cheetos. Yeah, the yeah, main yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's dope. cool. Yeah, he's cool. So what did the 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 main actor on that was at an LAFC game when we were there the other the janitor. Yeah, man, that dude was cool, man. Yeah, he I was, liked his acting in that movie. He was uh. What was the game before that, that we went to? It was before the Messi game. Colorado. Colorado. He was at that game. Damn, I did not. They, man, they had to put, man, they should have put that. I still got to see the movie, actually. It's a good movie. Yeah, the yeah. movie's like, it's, it's pretty, pretty hilarious. Inspiring. Yeah. The the kid is good. Yeah. The homie, the little little kid who his father just recently died. Um. Oh, the one that's on the George Lopez show? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's on the new George Lopez show. He plays like yeah, his little he's, grandson. He's hilarious, so, that yeah. kid. He's like uh, he's like this generation's Latino uh, Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Possibly, we'll see what he's in happens. Everything? It's he's, like, he's in everything. It's, and like no, like for like for the Spanish Latinas, like, it's, it's kind of early to call, but he's on his way. <laughs> like it, I mean, I like, like that example. He's he's made so many of those like like C movies, B movies that are like uh, they're C and B and B movies to us because they, they're on the Spanish you know reels. But bro, that that that, that, that money is green too. Hell yeah, you, bro. So Absolutely, yeah. So he he's he has I've looked I've looked into that little kid's career. I'm like, that dude is that little kid is is, is he's a little man, bro. He got bread. <laughs> like Yeah, he's doing yeah. that. He can act. He's got yeah. a personality. You know what I'm saying? Hey uh, RP to his father. Word hey, in peace. You got you got a new single out right now. Used to, right? Yeah, I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I, I, hey, I no, know yeah, yeah. Is. We do. Yeah, used to, man. This is. Oh, yeah. And honestly, it's like one of my favorite songs that I've ever made because you know, being sober, I'm in a good place now to finally make the music that you know I couldn't make back in the day because of substance abuse or being around the wrong people and stuff. So yeah, it feels good to be dropping music again and, and yeah, dropping singles and. It's a, you know it's fun. How does it feel to be rocking with like live instrument? I love it, and that's yeah. I love like we we just did a show. Uh, Track uh, is dope, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, all live instrument, all the homies, man. I'm, I'm so blessed to have a bunch of friends that are talented at making music. So when it comes together, it's all organic. But um, yeah, we just did a show last a uh, couple months ago in LA, and yeah, we had a whole band. It was the first time in my artist history where I had a whole band out and. Uh, it was a special vibe, man. Didn't it feel bigger to you? Yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah. Because I grew up listening to like, I grew up listening to old school hip hop, but more, more or less, it was like alternative rock, you know, like Deftones, The Cure, like Black Flag. Like I grew up listening to a whole bunch of stuff, you know. Um, yeah, dope. Like just cool stuff, but um, yeah, man. So I'm surprised I didn't end up becoming in a band instead of a rapper, is what I'm trying right. to say, you know. But now that I'm in this position that I am, yeah, I'm kind of transitioning over to hip I, I call it like indie indie hip hop a little bit and it's dope because it yeah. is its own flavor you yeah, know what it's, I mean? its own little sub genre of something you know and, and I, i'm ha i'm content with that just you know making that type of stuff the new album sounds really good lots of live instruments and we're just gonna keep pushing that you know and, and you're dropping that in september right oh uh, we're dropping so, uh september 22nd sorry yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 it's gonna be yeah, it's going to be dope, man. Word up, man. Hey, you know, I I feel like you're at the point that if you wanted to to do a band, like let's just say you're doing yeah. the hip-hop shit, the rap shit, mm -hmm. and say, you know what, I want to flip it over here for a minute, I I believe you could totally go in that lane Definitely. if you wanted and to. Definitely, it's, and it's, it's, it's great that you bring that up because, like, I, I have been talking to a couple of my friends that helped me make those music, great guitar players, great drummers, and they seem like, you know, they want to start a band too, but that's the thing about starting a band is it's always just hearsay. Oh, let's let's start a band, and then yeah. but it, but it does turn into something eventually, like dope, you know. Yeah. Um, and I, I would love to to do a whole side project like you should you, you play you play too. Instruments? No, I would just probably I want to learn, but I would probably just do more vocals for now. But I would I want to learn, yeah, a lot of instruments. I want to oh, yeah. learn, yeah. It's it's fun. Like you, it's fun. It look like you would be in a band that a lot of skater fools listen to. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, that we're trying to go for that demographic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like those fools that like are at the skate park from one to like <laughs> yeah. thirty. Yeah, yeah, like because <laughs> you know, because I think the way that 
you know, you listened to, you grew up listening to hip hop and the punk and all the other stuff. Yeah. Right. You have a, a double sensibility there, mm-hmm. right? Because uh, you know, I think anybody who's who's ha- come from that background, you kind of hear it. Yeah. Right. Throughout hip hop, like perfect example, Public Enemy. Right. Mm. Yeah. They're one of the most hip hop groups you could listen to but if you listen to the interior of the samples and then you ask chuck d the type of things he was listening to he'll tell you he's listening to metal and rock and funk and all that stuff and it came off in the music yep and it's 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 the same way like you know when 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 you have that sensibility it comes off in the vibe so you can get Mm -hmm. both fan bases to get behind you you know what i'm saying yeah, so I think the, it'd be a good move for you to do that. Yeah, yeah. no, man. I, you know, I, yeah, we're probably gonna do something like that. Yeah, definitely, man. It's an exciting time, man. It's just an exciting time. Yeah, and these days I think people are more open to just if yeah. you do music yeah. and it yeah. sounds good, they're gonna fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, if you def- surprise them with some shit, yeah, that you yeah. wouldn't normally do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I think I think Rick Rubin he he started that whole hip hop rock. I, I want to so, read yeah. that. He, yeah. he started incorporating. I believe that. Yeah, a lot of yeah, bang, yeah. Guitars. With Run DMC. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. He did the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. Too. Yeah. Yeah, Beastie Boys. I want to read uh, his book, Rick Rubin's book. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. even even Rock the Bells. There's guitars in that. Yeah, and I believe uh, Rick Rubin for Beastie Boys, License to Oh, that's Kerry King playing. Yeah, Kerry King yeah. plays on that. Yeah. Who's you know guitarist for Slayer? Mm-hmm. So did, did like, you, no. did you see that clip that's going around of him talking about an interview for like a System of a Down record he worked on? Where like they were like having writer's block and he just randomly opened up a book and he was like, This is a song. Who's yep. that? <laughs> Rick Rubin, yeah. yeah. Rick Rubin, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. they were having a writer's block and then he tells the band, like he's like he opened a random book and it's like his bookcase. Oh, yeah, he opened yeah. up a he, they were at his, you know, studio and they, you know, had the bookshelf and he was like, Go <laughs> go pick any of those books and pick a pick a page. And the first <laughs> sentence in that page. That's the song. Yeah. That is genius. That's smart. I like that. That's yeah. like fucking that, Rick fucking Rube. That was Chop Suey. Yeah, Chop that, Suey. That, that was Chop Suey. Yeah. What came, that song that came about from that. <laughs> that's the bridge. I mean, that's... Yeah, the bridge part. The that's bridge the genius there. of him. Let just... It's going to flow organically. Yeah. It, it's almost, it almost doesn't seem believable because when you see him, like... Because I've seen him on Lil, on, uh, on Lil Dicky's show. Yeah. And, like, you know, he's made his appearance there. And I love that show. And I'm just like... If I were to be, a, like, you know, an artist and it'd be like, when he leaves the room, I'd kind of be like, is this guy fucking for real right now? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would, not that I would He's always barefoot. It, yes. Yeah. He's always fucking barefooted. <laughs> like, like, he's always on some, like, He's yo, free-spirited. Man. Yeah, yeah, very free-spirited, man. Oh, yeah. Here he's on you. Oh. Oh. And so do I. Oh, man. Uh, I forgot about that rule, dude. Oh. Uh, Zone has two. B has, like, five. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let's take the whole bottle. It's four. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were still on. One asked for a reprieve because I was saying Rick Rubin. Yeah. Come on. I mean, yeah, me too, dude. <laughs> you don't no, care about. <laughs> yeah, I knew right. about that story. All right, here's for the two, the first two, and I'll. There's two in here, dude. Oh yeah, that's what I just dude. said. Ugh. What have you been listening to, uh-huh. Diego? Like lately, like like, have, like music, like like yeah. what would be like my Spotify? Um. A lot of new new music, you know. I'm I'm I just turned 27 uh, a week ago. Oh, and congrats! Happy yeah, birthday, yeah, man! Thank you, thank you. You know, so I'm looking for a lot of artists that are on the come up right now. You know, that that are like really underground that have a cool style. Um, you know, so that there's a lot of that type of music. You know, um, stuff that I see potential in. You know, that don't get many plays, but I love like. Bigger artists, I I was a big Mac Miller fan. Rest in uh, peace. Yeah, rest in peace. He was dope. Yeah, yeah, Mac Miller was dope. Probably one of my favorite artists. Um, I like a lot of indie stuff. Arcade Fire, uh, yep. Deftones, the Joy Division. What's your favorite Deftone song? Favorite de- um favorite Deftone song. It's the the man. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's got a uh, run away. F- Far from here. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, way far from it's here. A, uh, it's a drive. 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 Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, 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 yeah. That one. That that's one. That's my favorite fucking Deftones. I love it. The Ooh. intro. Yeah, just the intro and then the build up into yeah. it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Deftone 
the the guitarist for the Deftones, he does this show with us on Tuesdays and Fridays, oh, and, and he listens it. every day. So he's watching him. We call him the Strong. Oh, the strong. Yeah. Salute yeah. to the Strong yeah. One. Salute yeah. to the Strong One, man. That yeah, legendary band. And yeah. and yeah, you know, I like all that Girl in Red, all types of stuff, man. Like I, they're one of dope. my favorite bands too. Yeah, yeah. even yeah. If not yeah. just because he's listening. Yeah, man. I mean, he knows. No, it's a great, it's a great band, great band, man. And yeah. it's cool because like you see a lot of their influence even in like modern day hip hop now like a lot of the modern day hip hop is taking influence from like the cure and deftones and they're they're you know making yeah. these beats now around that and it's cool to see like the next kind of iter- iteration of that you know like what it influenced cuz all those kids grew up listening to deftones and all these you know so of course it's going to go into their music and now they're making rap so it just creates a really cool like subgenre of music that's yeah. rad. Have man. you been to a Deftone show? No, I have. I've been to a a, a corn show. Word. Oh, you got to go to a Deftone show. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it, man. I got it. That would be. Oh, we're gonna have to arrange that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be sick, man. Yeah. Bring it. That'd be sick. The strong one would love that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Excellent. Word up, man. And uh, so this is a seven track EP you're putting out. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It might be more, honestly. It, it's called like an extended. There's so many like names and labels, you know, they yeah. give to everything. I, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, it's like an extended EP. It could be up to like 10, 12 songs, maybe. We're still working every uh, every week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every month. We're in the studio, you know, that's what we're doing right now. Uh, the project comes out uh, November 3rd, and we're almost done with it. So we're just trying to cram every little bit in and get it ready. But I'm I'm very excited for people to hear this record because I've done, I feel like I've done so much just growth as a human being, right. you know, since even just a couple years ago, to be honest. Um, it's a fast life. Yeah, you know, and, and it's starting to slow down and it's just, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of like who, I, who I'm becoming. When, when, you, when you do one of your projects, how many songs do you like target? Like, is there, is there a number of songs? See, I... Like, I'm sure. Or do you just go by a vibe? I just go by a vibe, you know what I mean? Like, I know there has to be a certain amount, you yeah. know, and I'll try to hit that, but uh, it's just a vibe thing, you know? I've, I've learned that that's kind of the best way, at least for me personally, to go about things is just feeling it out, you know? And, and if it feels right, it feels right. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know? You're on the independent grind <laughs> right now, right? What happened? You're independent now, right? Yeah, yeah, ind- independent, yeah. So there's just, like, no, there's... I guess it must be like a new sense of free, like a good sense mm-hmm. of freedom where it's like you can release a video whenever the hell you want. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was hard because we just got access back to like all, all my YouTubes, you know, that had millions of subscribers. Like, because I had a bad little deal, you know, in the past with this team. But now we have everything back, call the copyrights. So now we're finally able to move forward, you know. So yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful time now. Definitely. Yeah, being independent today, I mean, you could do so much more. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I that's what I always keep telling myself. Like, uh, this is just the beginning. You yeah. Know? Like, because then you're always, it'll always just be the beginning. So you won't ever have, like, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, look, the the deal is the, the more music you do, and Les and C can tell you this. Yeah. Um, the better you get at it. And exactly. the more experience you get, and mm-hmm. you you snap in in a different way. And then you can do 100%. those different things. Like, you're like, like that thing we talked about earlier, like you going into that other more aggressive style shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like artists can do that if they just keep working in in the craft and doing songs like by the vibe. Yep. You know, uh, I agree a hundred percent. You know, not necessarily like we said targeting a number, but like vibing. Mm-hmm. The hardest part at the end is like picking what songs represent your vibe. <laughs> It, in that point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you made exactly. twenty and you're only putting ten on or twelve. It's hard when you got a group of great songs, but yeah. what's good about that is that you got stuff you could put out later. Yeah, yeah, you have that. None of it's a waste. Some of it could go on the next little project or something if you feel that way. You have options, and that that's that's the best. That's a good position to be in, having options like that. Just a lot of great music, but it's all about figuring out what fits sonically on one body of work, you know what I mean? Yeah, what, yeah that's what I'm trying to achieve is just like one from the start to the end, you know, like, oh, that was like an experience, you know? Yeah. Kind of, kind of a uh, record. Someone was saying today that Chris Brown has logged in 15,000 songs. What? In his vault. Like, 
Oh, that like he's, unreleased, yeah. That he's worked on over the course of time, 15,000. I believe it. Catalog, yeah, yeah. catalog done definitely released. Definitely believe it. De- unreleased. I, yeah, unreleased. unreleased. Over, over like, yeah, decade. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Wait, who's this, Miro? Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Damn. There's a lot of artists like that. Like, they just keep working, 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 mm-hmm. working, working. We're not even counting. Just, they got like the studios in their house. Yeah, they wake up, just yeah. straight yeah. to it, got the engine. Like, yep. like Busta Rhymes, for one. Like, he's, he's one that... He got a lot of yeah, songs. Yeah, he'll just, you'll be in the studio with him. He'll play you like 20 songs hey. and, and they'll never come out. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah that's yeah. like Dre. They'll how many how out. many songs yeah. you think Dre got catalog? Why do people Ooh. do that, man? Coming out. Like, why do, why do they just like stack they, up on they got, the, so, they got so many. Yeah, files. I know. Well, well, I, I think one is to be creative. Like, they got an idea. Let me move on this before it yeah. gets old to me or maybe somebody else yeah. gets the idea. Now, in the end, what they do with it is two different things. Right. You know, like, for guys like Dre and Jay-Z and guys at that upper echelon type of thing, with the way with the way the game is today, you don't want to take a chance on putting just anything out. Even if you think it's dope, it doesn't mean it'll go. Yeah, yeah, no, and, not at all. And they yeah, don't want to yeah. fuck up the legacy of like, you know, every every album they ever sold was platinum plus. Yeah. You know what I mean? To to put out something in today's market where it's a lot harder. It's yeah. harder to get that. I mean, it's yeah, a little man. bit too, like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. In all respect to Dre, but it's just like, I can see why he's not gonna put he's, he, like he wouldn't put anything out like that because he I'm does like, music for fun now. Yeah, I, yeah. I get it, but do it for fun. But it's just like, like hey, bro, like after yeah. 2001 and the Chronic, I don't think ain't nothing that you release would come close. Bro. Nah, <laughs> nah, because producers evolve and they they <laughs> you know like they could become greater and do different shit. It's just that. The climate of the game right now is you're taking your fucking chance. Yeah. yeah. And no one wants to take a chance at putting a dent in their legacy. That's that's what I mean. So man. they'll go do shows. They'll do features. They might even put out a single, but albums they're not putting out because guess what? I'm not taking a chance on fucking my track record and up that, over yeah, here. That's man. why still Dre still hitting. We don't yeah. do that. <laughs> that's like, also why uh, Andre 3000 said uh, when he got a little bit older, they said, why'd you leave hip hop? And he said, uh, it's called hip hop. He's like, once I, he's like, once I got older, I, I, I wasn't hip enough. So like, you know, I felt like I couldn't do it. That's what <laughs> hip hop meant to him, you know? Yeah. So like, he didn't want to mess it up, man. You know? Yeah, I, th- I think he got he got tired of the game a little bit. He'd be making experimental music, bro, out there, yeah. like oh, overseas. Yeah. He'd be doing yeah, he's dope, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. he's dope. <laughs> like, yeah, he'd be randomly out there. I don't think anyone thought that he would develop into one of the top, you know, yeah. MCs and and vocalists and performers. Right at this shit, you know, when they first came out, I think nobody saw that coming. That he was on some upper level shit. Yeah, but you know what? Like the reason he's so dope is because he's hip hop. He yeah. is right, yeah. absolutely. Exactly. That's what I makes do. him dope. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else he does, that's what makes him dope. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, absolutely right. Because you know you could paint hits, any man. kind of picture on it, but that 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 bro is hip hop. Because sure. he has yeah. a crazy style that like uh, like. Even before hip hop changed and became very accepting, they, that was a lot of ammo for people to judge him on. But everybody was like, "Nah, nah, he just leave him alone." Yeah, he's. That's yeah. that's the spitter right there. Leave him alone. Yeah. Like yeah. he's with and he the, got that flute. Yeah, yeah. like so I'm so you just like man, like people didn't fuck with him because he like he's right. He, he's hip hop and people are just like yo, that kind of well, makes him cool well, with everything he goes to. Yeah. Here's the thing: at his core, he's hip hop for sure. Absolutely. At his core, always that dude is hip hop. Yes, but he's more. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. I think like he set a different kind of standard when they blew the fuck up. Yeah, it was and, big, man. And, uh, you know, and now he's like sort of like, I've been at the mountaintop. But I mean, what else is there for me to do with this shit? And then looking at some of the decline that's happened in the game. Is it- but you kind of look past that because this game is like a roller coaster. It goes up and down, up and down, up and fucking yeah. down and round it goes. Yep. And you just have to embrace that about this genre that we're in. And that's in yeah. any genre. It could mm-hmm. be punk, metal, R&B, um, anything. It all goes in, in a circle and it all has roller coaster rides. Sometimes this genre is on the top and the, the artist... All the artists in this genre are top five, 200 billboard. And then that sort of dies down a little bit. And then the country guys come in and they run it for like yeah, five, yeah. six years. And then 
some pop artist comes out and explodes and like Taylor Swift or Beyonce. Mm-hmm. And yep. you know what I mean? So it goes to roller coaster rides yeah. and cycles, man. Yeah, that, con- that country game is something else, bro. Like, I, yeah. I mean, my algorithm has been feeding me little things where it's like, you, you might like this country <laughs> song. And I've been. You li- want to. Yeah, like I've been listening to like, a, like not the songs where I'm like, damn, this kind of hits. I was like, so and I'm like, man, we need, have we ever had some country singers up in here, be real? Bring it. I'm waiting for them, you know what I'm saying? And I uh, think it's about, I think, I know there's some of them that smoke weed because I hear it in, in some of the snippets. I'm like, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, I know we hear it. I'm just like, I know what he's talking about. And then I'm like, I want to smoke weed on top of a horse. <laughs> you could. You can do whatever you want. Man. I mean, you yeah, could. If you knew how to ride the horse, you could definitely smoke a joint on top of that. That's horse. the first part is learning ride. how to get, get right. Get on the horse. Get get the horse. Yeah. I don't know if I could. Is it really that hard though? I mean, brother, don't they have the the the, 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 the little the little thing on the top saddle? Of the well, saddle, it's, yeah. it's not yeah. just about it's not just about that. <laughs> It's 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 more to it than just getting on the horse. Oh yeah! Is if it, the f- it, horse ain't vibing it, off you, it'll toss yeah, your ass yeah. off. Oh yeah! <laughs> Quick, you don't want to be that. You go into the hospital. Maybe yeah. Christopher Reed. Oh, they can. Ah, yeah. 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 no, they can don't. kick hard as hell too. Yeah. Oh yeah! yeah. You get behind. Well, I mean, you know, you, you don't know, let them kick you in the chest, gonna, bro. You're not <laughs> gonna. Approach, you. You're not gonna approach a horse from behind, bro. That's the. No, don't do that. My accent. And then and it's like number one, bro. It's like. That's the thing about animals. Like, if you're not an animal person, you got to take that, like, how to approach an animal, uh, you know, wiki instruction book online, bro, because that's going to help you big <laughs> don't, time. Don't grab But if tail. you're an animal person, bro, <laughs> yeah, nighttime, that, that, that book could be like, don't stand behind the horse. Yeah. Don't grab yeah. Tail, don't, Animals don't are don't able to fill your vibe out, bro. Hey, how about, how about don't there, pet his ass. There, <laughs> there was that one uh, clip on IG last week or in the last week and a half or Maybe two weeks. It was that horse where they're walking it through the stable and someone's peeking out the stable and it kicks sideways. Yeah. Oh, kick like fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah, that dude flew. Flew. Caught flight. He caught flight. <laughs> <laughs> he caught a horseshoe. <laughs> a horseshoe. That would be that. See what I did right there? Uh, I like that. That would that's be that, that's blog worthy. It is yeah. blog worthy. That's blog worthy. Yeah. Be dude. like, yo, be like, we well, go horseback riding. <laughs> this vlog what? Uh, what? If we I, go horseback, like ride? us, us, see who we? taps out, dude. Bro, that, what? Man. Nobody's gonna tap well, out. Well, you know what? No, we'll man. do. We'll do I it on. We don't smoke the same show. Uh, like, I, I didn't uh, say we wouldn't do it on this show. I'm just saying it's it's a crazy I'm, request by yeah, you. Yeah, you know. I'm look. I'm not look. If everybody, if anybody feels at the risk of being Christopher Reeves, you don't have to get on the horse. We have ponies. I've horse been on horses <laughs> before. The horse, not, the horse might not like the weed though. You yeah, don't smoke. On yeah, like if you because if you're gonna yeah. be you're gonna yeah. be blowing his eye level. Maybe That's that why horse I got ain't my a weed don't horse. Propane vape. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> that horse shaped. Uh, <laughs> what was that horse? Look at that. See, this is what that horse. Okay, wow. First of all, you, he's like, branding that horse. Yeah, <laughs> you're, like, burning ass, that. you're burning his ass, dude. But you're, bur- you're burning his ass with the fucking iron, ah. bro. Hey, that hey, AC, and and that's he all muscle. Took more precautions, right there. That and that's all muscle, right there. That's just a oh. reflex. That's a big ass muscle kicking your ass <laughs> right there. That guy might have died. We don't even know. <laughs> Motherfucker flew. Well, he definitely he got. He, if he should have <laughs> taken the mark of the horseshoe that was left, oh damn, and tattooed it on his Ooh. chest, so that would have been hard. Uh, yeah, I would have done. Uh, look at this. I said, as like, a reminder, he for, he for sure has a broken jaw, and then he has to. Yeah, yeah. he's over here living through the wire. That guy yeah. got a concussion. Let's that's just a broken jaw. Yeah, that's, that's a thing, broken yeah. jaw. He was but, probably drunk, and he got that horse kick. Yeah. Got a concussion. Like, yeah, dude, I'm, you gotta respect the animals, bro. If, if you're not an yeah, animal lover, yeah. and 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 and, 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 and and you don't, if you you're not accustomed to having domestic domestic pets, bro. One thing about animals, bro, just how they fucking sense when the something's yeah. wrong with the oh, earth. Yeah. They know when you're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. They, so, they, so, they, so, they're yeah. uh they're very um in tune to to good and bad energy. That's what I was sure. about to say. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I have a bunch of pets too, and like it's the same thing. Yeah, when you go like they they know they know. They if know. you're an animal abuser, you try to <laughs> yeah. approach a horse. Bro, like if you, he like, knows, I'll he or she you, knows. I'll tell you right now, if you're if you're a if you're a bachelor out there. And you're bringing somebody home, and 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 your dog that you trust and you have a relationship with doesn't want to be petted by the person. Don't let that person stay over. Hey, that's yeah. real like, talk. Like real talk. Like that's when real I, talk. When okay. I was when I was you know you know when Listen I was listening to your pets. Yeah, like when I was single, I, and and my dog would. 
be like, I don't fuck with this bitch. <laughs> like just straight out, like like just be like. Was your dog a male dog, female? Female. Dog? Okay, so there like, it is, I, right like, there. I, like yeah, I'm over here. Is. I was like, damn, Jealous. bitch. If, if you don't fuck Jealous. with her, no, nah, because there was there was people yeah. that the dog was like, she's the shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but so the, the dog knows. The dog bro. will let you know. And, yep. and, and, and sure enough, bro, when you don't listen to the dog because the dog knows you twenty four seven. You, you'll think of it when 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 the oh, yeah. when it's all down. done, yeah, yeah. When, the yeah. when it's down. all done, you'd be like, "Damn, the dog tried to tell me." Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what about the cat? The, the cat ain't gonna tell you nothing. Nah, shit. cats. Yeah, the cats, cats like I don't know, man. Cats. It ain't my fucking business. The cat, <laughs> dude, the cat, yeah, that's the, real. The, I think the cat is the, is like the you don't need the cat is there for like a, a therapeutic pet, bro. Like for the people that don't want to admit admit that they need a therapy pet. I got that's three what cats. The, that's what the fuck a cat is for, bro. Yeah, I got three. You could be going through the worst kind of <laughs> shit, bro, but if a cat just lands on your lap and it's purring, everything's cool oh, for that Oh, moment. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know, because I here's the it. trick. Y'all need each other right there now. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, the cat I, I needs you and you need the cat. And, so, and sometimes when you're at your lowest... Being wanted by something that is not that easy. I'm not saying that it's easy to satisfy. Through that. Easy yeah. to validate. Just makes it all cool. A it's cat, like, hey, bro, yes, because a cat yeah. will, will leave your ass in a minute. It's not yeah, like a not, dog. Man. A dog will stay there. If the dog tries to walk away, you go, hey. <laughs> the dog come will come on, back. Man. The cat will be like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to go over here. They got a mind of their own. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like them. They you know, they yeah. go off, do their own thing, you know. Yeah, like you can't just you can't treat a cat like the same way as a dog. No, no you can't. No, I learned that no, real quick. No. You cannot. You will be frustrated if you if if that's what it was. Yeah. You, you're a dog owner and you're trying to flex like that on the cat. <laughs> cat's like no. No, Hell no, get no. out of here! I'm no. a lion. Dude, play that. sometimes cats are the most majestic assholes ever. Yeah, They're just yeah, like, yeah. like, like see that. this thing? What's this? Oh, bam! Knocked yeah, out. yeah. Exactly. They like, knocked over my vase this morning. Everywhere, it's just they just wanted to do it. Just, <laughs> just kicking it on the <laughs> table. Honey. The cat's <laughs> like, I came from lions <laughs> and tigers. <laughs> This is what happens. This is what happens. This is how we do. They're the, they're the alpha, alphas of the house, man. Pick up after me, human. Yes. And I do. <laughs> You're my human. Remember that. You're my human. You're my human. I'm not your cat. Yeah, but it's like you said. Like <laughs> who you said, feeds who? Ah. Conspiracy. Like you said, it's like you feel like you need each other, so it doesn't feel like a one-way street. No, yeah, yeah, man. They're my therapist, yeah. Dogs, too. Dogs look Dogs like... can do that, yeah. Dogs, the same thing. All, all types of pets you have that like, bond with. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, And they live like like kings they're basically the kings because guess what they don't got to do shit they eat and shit and get pet get pet, petted yeah get petted and and psh, they're good yeah, man. Oh, sleep yeah i love dogs <laughs> i love that, dogs too yeah yeah man yeah dogs are cool man's best friend most pets are cool it's just you know the only ones i don't get into is the snakes yeah and nah. the piranhas yeah, yeah nah. i've, I've, I've really? had homies that had both yeah and watching them feed is like some other other shit. I've never met anybody that had a piranha. That's interesting. Yeah, I had a home. I have a homie um, that once part time. He had like a tank full of like maybe twenty of them. Wow, things. that's crazy. What? He had a huge fucking. Did tank. he ever just like dip his like hand in? Never. No. Yeah, that would never. be bad. Yeah. What he would do is on feeding day just bring mice, oh, okay. like from the. Pet oh wow, shop. they eat mice and stuff. Wow. They eat anything. Anything you throw in, yeah. Okay. But if you want to see the show, he was bringing mice, <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and he would throw the mice in, and the yeah. things would tear Stop. those mice. Try to up. swim a little bit. They didn't even wait. Were they alive? <laughs> wait, were they yes, alive? They were. Alive. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, that's a good. Well, because certain piranhas like eating yeah, yeah, live yeah, yeah. shit, yeah, yeah. and others What's, will. It's more eat entertaining, everything. probably. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah, his feeding day was crazy. Ooh, I was man. like, I was like, oh my god, I'm cool. I mean, I had seen Piranha's feed, but like the way that he did it that day, I was like, oh my god. Dude, I saw this video. If you were to put your hand in there, man, man that's what I was thinking. Done. Like, what? Like, yeah, it's just gone. Like, you know, if you were to <laughs> slip while you were cleaning the that's tank, like, uh, that's like that movie Final Destination. Yeah, if you like accidentally, oh man. Falling. Yeah, those it, they were Oscars, the the silver kind. And you could eat Dude. piranha, I think, right? I don't know. Um, about nah, that. I, uh, it's a spiky fish. Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. like it's a spiky fish. I don't know. It's a scary fish. Dude, I yeah, saw. I don't know if I want to eat that. Nah. If, if they chop scary. it up like a mojarra, though, 
I don't. Like, I don't so tacos. So. I've never heard of anyone eating one. They're saying nah. they're usually uh, eaten by the indigenous people of yes. the Amazon range. They're go. probably the only ones with the so, stomach to be able to yeah. eat that. So we probably would not. Yeah, we probably die. If we they ate. probably yeah. got them on like hooked up. They cook them on like some leaves and shit. Fry what were you gonna say, Steve? I saw this video. It's floating around on on IG. It was of this piranha eating this alligator from the inside out. Like he had got so it got the, inside the alligator his, and just going to town, ta- just eating everything. Like there was a, a like I don't know how he got him, at the tail end, and you just blah, 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 you just see him just. It's on this. I think nature is metal on IG. Wow, it's crazy. Wow. Shout like, out to uh, Mother Nature. Mother yeah, Nature. <laughs> Always an interesting. Show. <laughs> Mother Nature is a motherfucker. Woo man, yeah, dude, <laughs> find that. Video, it's crazy. Did you see the alien videos? This what uh, you're talking Diego? about? Oh, yeah. Look oh at- man, <laughs> I saw some. What the? Hell? Oh shit! Uh, That's a dead gator, though. Oh, gator, yeah. yeah. It's oh, a dead goodness. gator. Yeah, because it got into the gator and ate, ate its way up. through it. Look at that, dude. It's yeah, still- but the gator's oh, wow. dead already. Yeah, yeah, because dead. it ate through him already. <laughs> the, the, the I'm talking about the color on it. It looks like it's been dead for a minute. He's eating his organs. He's did they look look at? Um, oh, that's crazy. I mean, if he is alive, poor dude. I don't think he's alive nah. anymore. But look at that. It he's was. not alive for Dude. sure. Dude, he's like, what? Buffet. Like, I am. He's like, I am the king right here. <laughs> king he's going to grow by two pounds right there. <laughs> he's <gonna> swole that. <laughs> <good. laughs> they, they got some meaty ass piranhas up in Brazil, son. Don't, don't Shout care. out to Brazil. Thick <laughs> ass. <laughs> Thick ass piranhas. <laughs> you play, have you played any shows there yet? I'm uh, soon, like next year, we're going down there. Yeah. Oh, you'll have fun down yeah, there. Yeah. I said, they, good people, man. Good. People. Wild, yeah. Wild shows too. Mm-hmm. They 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 light it up for sure. And now there's some good weed out there. Oh wow! It's, Before yeah, it's like, it was super boof. What's the legal status out there? I believe it's legal now yeah. out there. Oh, that's cool. To a degree, or to or like, all the way. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But I, I know that there are some really dope cultivators out there with some holding some good strains yeah, out there yeah, like these some, days. Yeah, some real good stuff. Whereas before, man, it was like super boof. Bobby Brown. Mm. Damn, stress. Yeah, it was bad. Not good. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank God things change like that. It evolves and people, you know, like get the right knowledge, yeah. the right strains, yeah. take it, cultivate it in places you don't think that, yeah. you know, it could you thrive. Know, then again, like people like you and all of us, like we're spoiled. We go to these countries and this is what they're smoking and they're getting blasted off this. But to <laughs> us, it's like, ah. Yeah, that is true. That I mean, that's not wrong. But I'm saying that more often than not, these days... Um, you go to a, to a certain country and they got some pretty good weed unless you're in one of them countries that like is very slow and very behind on shit. Mm. Yeah, like you're some some places in Europe. Some places in Europe, not every place. Not every you, place. Because you go to Spain and they got some fire. Oh yeah, yeah. I just here. went to Spain this year too. Yeah, they got they got yeah. They yeah, got Germany it. got some fire. Amsterdam, UK, yeah, Holland, the uh, Netherlands. Even Switzerland got Switzerland, some. Yeah, yeah, Switzerland got some. I got the coffee shops, you know, that's what they, they call them out there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good places these days, I, you know, because I think a lot of those cats came down here into the U.S., came to places like California, Colorado, and and others to learn how to cultivate mm. and, and get some strains and somehow take them down there in clone form or seat or beans or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And uh, popped it off because now you see you see some fire and some gas around the world when when like maybe six seven ten years ago you didn't see that. No, nah, you see some boof and mid level shit and Oof. and uh, some stress for sure. Yeah, man. Well, boof and stress are the same things. So. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. It's got many names, many names, many names. <laughs> Here, here's for the other few. I uh, all right. <laughs> There it is. I don't want it to be said I, I don't pay up. <laughs> Terrible. If you haven't smashed that like yet, do so. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. Crack that notification bell. Get acquainted with all the content we drop here at Be Real TV. This is Dr. Green Thumb Show. We pop it off Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 Eastern. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, we got the mix show after this show. On Twitch, B underscore Real TV is the play. Psycho Lizzie and myself, we do Tuesdays and Thursdays, 
C minus Javi Lopez and the squad we do Fridays. So join us. You know what I'm saying? You could either watch it on Twitch, be underscore real TV again. Or if you're a member of BeReal.TV, you could watch there. Um, and if you're not a member, become a member. www.BeReal.TV. And uh, we welcome all those to get down with us. Yeah. You got any shows coming up, Diego? Yeah, yeah. We got um six shows coming up uh, end of October. I don't know the cities, but it's just going to be a little six. Like a mini tour. Mini through, tour? Uh, yeah, we're just starting off slow again. You know, smaller venues, building it back up, you know. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be fun, you know, more intimate uh, with the fans. And, yeah, it's going to be a good time. What's your favorite city you've been in? Oh, my favorite in America? Yeah. Favorite city? Man, my favorite city. What is, that's, that's, a, that's a hard question. What is my favorite city? Um, probably, honestly, Los Angeles, dog. All right. That's right. Yeah. We'll take that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I've been <laughs> everywhere, but I, I, got, I love L.A. There ain't no city like L.A., man. I'll, I'll I'll co-sign that. Yeah. I'll co-sign that. <laughs> right. Yeah. How about in Europe? Europe, Mo. Europe. Let's see. Uh, man, I've got. Oh, uh, I like Finland. 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 Yeah. Finland's fun. You know. It's all crazy. the Scandinavian little spots right there. Yeah. It, that's a trippy place because you go at a certain time of year, it's all dark. Yeah, yeah, and I went at that exact time. That's and, crazy, yeah, right? It was, it was, whoa, everything was wonky, bro, from jet lag to it being dark all day, and that was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> feels like nighttime all the time. That yeah. It is yeah. crazy. And then there's the other time where it's like daylight the whole yeah. damn time. No, that's yeah. what I, I got there when it was daylight, like like kind of bright throughout the whole night. Yeah. yeah. So it was trippy. Yeah, it was. I was like, whoa. My yeah, God. we did some shows over there, some festival shows where we played later. We were playing like, I'm going to say 12, 12 a.m., Midnight, yeah. and we would end at one thirty, right? So, and our bus call would be like three thirty a.m., mm-hmm. right? Uh, to push on to the next city. Well, we're out there, you know. Nobody's asleep. Nobody goes to sleep at you know after a festival. No, we yeah, just, no, no. You know, no, what I'm saying our adrenaline's still up. It looks like it's barely like six <laughs> thirty. You know how it looks no, like yeah, when it's yeah, six yeah. thirty like, out here. When the du- it's dusk, dusk, dusk is dusk. coming up. It's like yeah. a purpley. Yeah, yeah. You know what it, I mean? it that's that's what. They're it just looks like that all <laughs> like, day. Yeah, yeah, all all day. day. It's kind of cool. It's really it cool. It is. Yeah, I really mean, cool. but you got to be blacked out in your hotel room to yeah, not, for that yeah, not to. Yeah. That's that's the reason why a lot of people get fucked up out there too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah, light yeah, all yeah. Time, so they never stop. It's like yeah, yeah, we still definitely. here chilling. Like you know. and never, yeah, the sun yeah, <laughs> yeah never yeah, comes just, up. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All them Scandinavian <laughs> spots. Fun man. places. Fun yeah, places. Yeah. Fun places. But it's a trip. You know, when you go there like that, Norway, you're so close Finland, to the, the Greenland, the Iceland, Arctic Circle, I think, right there. Something's right there. Like, yeah, it's um, a little more northern, right? Yeah. So. yeah. I would imagine the northern lights look crazy for Ooh, all the, That would be crazy. Uh, yeah. Iceland, most I don't especially, think I've right? Seen, I've never seen those. I've never seen it neither. Yeah. What, the northern lights? Yeah, no, we've oh, always, how, how often is we've always missed it. Like, when we're in that region, it's, ne- it's never popping off at the time. It's like a certain time, yeah. 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 But that would be that would be beautiful. Cool thing to see it. It happens in like what Canada too and yep. Alaska. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah up like yeah, yeah. That'd be a trippy thing to see. Take some mushrooms. And just, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. A little microdose. Go yeah. There. So you definitely get down with mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Have you ever, yeah. have you ever done mushroom? Have you ever done a show on mushrooms? Yeah, yeah. How did yeah. that feel to you? I didn't do too much, but enough to feel it. It was good. It was man. like a microdose. Yeah, no, nah, it was a little more than a microdose. It was like a little macro. Yeah, like four grams. Okay, that's yeah, that's oh, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely not micro. Yeah, yeah, yeah not you micro. know, but I could keep. I've done it enough to where I can keep. You know, like I don't freak keep out it or going, anything. Yeah. yeah, I can like stay in line. You know, How, like what did it look like to you when you started peeking? Man, it's like. Like, okay, like, you just see, like, multiple of everything, you know? It's like this, but, like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do, like, yeah, you know trails. what I mean? It's cra- So you see the people and just, like, waves and, like, yeah. it's, yeah, man, it's it's crazy, bro. It's <laughs> it's a beautiful experience, though. I, I really do think shrooms is, like, a uh, medicine, you know? Yeah. Like, I really do because, you know, my mom uses it. I got my dad. My dad loves it. Uh, he's on it now and, uh. Yeah, yeah, it helps. It helps. I don't do it as often as I used to, but I'm always down for a good, good little microdose or sometimes macro. Like, sometimes know. macro. Yeah, just you know. I tell you, that used to be the trip for me. Is is watching as we're peaking, watching like the 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 p- 
pits, you know, when they're when they're totally doing the circular whirl whirlwind whirlpool shit. Yeah. When that would happen and I was tripping, that was the craziest shit. I don't know how like I wouldn't fall off the verse do it, you know, like when I was watching that. <laughs> like yeah, just like but, fall off, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like get get uh, distracted. Mm-hmm. And like totally just be tripping off just of the vibe, yeah. Just be like zoning off somewhere else. But it's a crazy thing. You you find yourself. You just keep going. It's you're like you're in automatic mode, autopilot. Yeah, yeah. yeah like you're, you're in autopilot. autopilot. Yeah. Your mind is doing, seeing, yeah, experiencing different things. But you're in autopilot. Yeah. You're going. If you know the songs, mm-hmm. you're gonna stay on. Yeah, exactly. And that's what kept me going too. Is because like you know, as both performers, you you get in that autopilot zone. Yeah, yeah your mind is like you're seeing everything known yeah. to man right there but yeah. no you're still an autopilot you, you know you're gonna remember every word it, but when you get off stage you might you know that's when you let loose and you're like oh, oh yeah. i'm freaking out right it's, now it's, <laughs> hey man it's <laughs> fucking it's, hey man well it's happening it's fucking vivid yeah, bro it's like, cool man it's like the colors are boldness so, of yeah. it yes. like you know it's like when you do a show right and you're on front of the stage and you're you're maybe high or, or sober or whatever or or even maybe drinking you're doing the show and you might see a couple of people's faces and you know like that but most most of the time it's you're just seeing the overall picture like this yeah. and it's not not clear right exactly right yeah how about you you would mm-hmm. agree with that yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. when yeah. you're on shrooms you will see every face clearly <laughs> yes <laughs> you yeah and you'll see your own face like yes. that's what i'm saying i'll look at like when i whenever i'm on shrooms i look in the mirror and i'm like i feel like i'm able to see how i look like for the for like for how i actually look for the first time like you know like i'm like this is how i really look and i know i'm just tripping but <laughs> it's weird i don't know it's weird it, yeah, it's, yeah it's a trippy thing man it is cool oh, yeah. though like yeah it's never in a never in a bad never in a bad way or bad yeah it's, it's just all good yeah like, whenever we did them with shows we never had a bad trip mm-hmm. yeah. it was always fun an adventure if you will <laughs> yeah i like that word yeah it's always an adventure <laughs> always an adventure oh, yeah. all right yeah. it is now time what time is it All right, we got a bunch of submissions in today. The first one of the day here, we got Bart's Barbecue up in here showing off some brisket Wagyu smash burgers from yesterday's catering with Diego. It's, oh, that's it's, the homie, man. It, it's torture time, Diego. Oh, yeah. It's barbecue. Look at that, dude. Diego, shout out to Bart, man. Yeah, Bart's he, pulled, he pulled up, man, on my birthday and, and another day, man. I got mad respect for him, bro. Shout yeah, out that's bro. our bro, right? There. Yeah, he's, yeah. He, he's a good guy, man. He does yeah. the show with us sometimes. Sometimes he sits in with us. Yeah, he's a that's good guy. That's good. Next time you see him, go, nah. <laughs> Definitely have to do that to me. <laughs> I love it. It's the family circle deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the steroid home. Yeah. Dro does another version of it too. It's Remember that you. time he wrecked the studio? <laughs> oh, you don't know about that. Oh. <laughs> nah. He's on there. In front of you. No, he one time destroyed the set. <laughs> oh, wait. They got really drunk here. Who are? <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't do it on purpose. Hey, I, hey, I want to party with him. He sounds like a good time. <laughs> he's a good, he is it a was good whiskey, time. It was whiskey day that day. It was whiskey Shining day. too. Yes, we did. We actually did do the whiskey that day. Oh, yeah. He was so red. Salute to Mr. Yeah. Bartz. That's the bro. Shout out. Shout out to Bartz. Brisket. That's true. Brisket. We call him the brisket king. Yeah. Bris- hey, yo, shout out to brisket king. Because nobody does the briskets better than man. the brisket king. True that. <laughs> we got our boy uh, Jason up in here. Uh, he's saying he saw this on Instagram, and he's asking Psycho Less, what is this that you're firing up? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Is that what you roll, Poppy? It's one of my pocket joints. Emergency, <laughs> yeah. emergency pocket joint. That's right. When, when nobody got nothing else, you pull those babies out. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that Good made me choke up. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck Lo siento. Out. It's a little jail joint. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my Smoking God. Smoking papeles. Hey. What would you rate that be? 
You don't want to know. <laughs> 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 Same rating as your R's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bolton. Same rating as your R's. There would be a zero then. <laughs> oh, man. Great. And we got a job in here saying this was a yesterday's Flower Co. Hall. Stizzy. Nice. Farmer and the Felon. I like that. It sounds like a book. Uh, 710. Shout out 710. Yeah, 710 is good. I like that Farmer uh, and the Felon. That that just it sounds like a book. I think the Farmer and the Felon. Best selling novel. Yeah. Farmer, Farmer and the Felon. That company Number gives like one. proceeds to all the people locked up for It's a gangster away. story. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a gangster cool story. Name. I like that name. That's dope. I was a farmer and a felon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Coming this summer. Coming yeah. <laughs> to a theater near you. Bring it. Or a streaming service. Streaming service. That goes straight to streams. Apple Plus. Subi. Rated PG. Crackle. Crackle. <laughs> Tubi. Yeah, Tubi. Tubi. <laughs> Not Tubi. Um. All right. <laughs> and we got dark. We got dark shadow up in here saying he's just hanging out with his dog, watching the podcast. Shout oh, to you guys. Oh, Hell yeah. Right. Hey, it's a nice cute dog. That is a nice dog. Cute dog. Ah. Cool Whenever you dog. see those pictures, you just miss having a puppy, and then you're like, then you grow up. Yeah, and the puppy grows up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. True that. And he becomes that guy. Yeah, or girl, whatever. Takes bigger shits. <laughs> Takes bigger shits. The cute shits now are the my fucking god. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Yeah. You did this. You did this. Why would you do it here? Right. Why? On Aton's desk. <laughs> How'd you get up there? It's a pretty peculiar place to do it. All right. We got Sven up in here saying this is the mural outside of Paul's boutique before they got the square. That is a great hey, mural. Beastie Boys. Loot to the yeah. beast. That's a good shot of him. Legendary. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's good. Excellent. Great art. Street art. Hell yeah. That doesn't qualify as graffiti. Not at all. The street art. 100. If there's graffiti on the bottom of it, what do you call it? That's the fucking, that's the rub, right? Right. Because you got street art mixed with graffiti. Yes. What do you call it? Graffiti art. Gra graffiti rock. Graph art. Graph art. All right. It's art. Take Either that. way, it's art. art. Just ask Javi, dude. Ask yeah, Javi knows. What the fuck does it mean, Javi? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's some, a hybrid. I mean, yeah, some people might not see hip hop. I mean, graffiti, like. It's art, you know? Oh, that's some street shit. Well, no, what's crazy, because if you go on Reddit, right, and you try to post something with, you know, the so-called street art that we just seen right there, mm -hmm. whereas before, you know, there was, it could have been a portrait with some, you know, some graph under it, and that all together was graffiti. That wasn't like, it wasn't like, this is... Art. This is street art mixed with graffiti art. This is it's just graffiti all in one, right? Now it, there's there's a fucking difference on Reddit. You go on there and if you try to post some shit that's like a you know like a portrait style, but it's graffiti. Mm -hmm. If there's no letters there, they'll tell you to fuck off with that post. And if you go on the graffiti page and try to put like the the street art on there they'll tell you to fuck off with that they only want That's the tagging cool. in. yeah you know it has to be just the letters and the street art just has to be the characters Damn. like depending on how you caption it it's crazy but to me it's all graph art was there yeah true that skills 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 be it's all skills though yep. salute to all the artists we got our boy uh, wilfred cyrus up and you're saying our company in michigan just went live with this new grow building we have been working on for two years. I'm one of the lead cultivators here. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Nice. nice. Hell yeah. Nice big room. Yeah. yeah. Just starting out. Looks good. The ladies are going to be popping in there. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing under the lights. They're going to go crazy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. No doubt. Ooh, no, nice. Right. Ooh, look at those. Yep. Nice facility, man. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it yeah. is a lot of work. You know? It is a lot of work, bro. Yeah. Not wrong there. 
We got Paul up in here saying, I've been seeing people lately sending in pictures of their cars, and he wants to show off his 84 C10 short bed. There you yeah. go. Wow, that's dope. Hell I like yeah. the colors. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Super dope. Ooh, look at that. That's definitely an He's saying engine. he dropped a 350 turnkey crate engine in there. Yes, he did. That <laughs> shit ain't no joke right there. That shit don't look That's like a truck engine. That, 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 mm-hmm. that, that truck will get up. That's right. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the balls. Yeah, no, that truck got balls right there. Imagine it's a picture off Reddit. Stock photo. People are just gonna start sending out pictures off Reddit. No. We actually got a Reddit. It's called Growing with Green Thumbs. So if any of you are on Reddit, go, you know, join us there. Hell yeah. We got Jeff up in here saying he stopped by Green Thumb San Diego location and shout out to you guys. I got the four best insane flavors. Yep. Boom! Yeah, yeah right there. there. Go. I got to yeah. tell you, you're not wrong. These are some, you know, the favorable flavors amongst our consumer base. The 41, the funk, uh, the mamba, and the French toast, man. No doubt. Excellent. And he's saying the Hindu funk was extra special. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Everyone's favorite. It's a sleeper, you know, because a lot, you know, you have to hear about it before you'll try it. And then when you try it, you're like, then you tell other people about it. Yeah. The smell will take you by surprise, too. But, like, when, when we had it on the shelf in the beginning, it wasn't, it wasn't the first thing they went to. They had to get put on by somebody. But let me tell you what. Don't be the person that gets put on by somebody. You go get that shit because that shit is the fire, that Hindu funk. Put all yourself day. on. Uh, yeah. Do yourself a favor Taste. and get yourself a flavor. Taste is crazy. All right, we got a new rating up in here. We got Balls Mahoney saying, here's a new one. Rate my parking job. <laughs> Rate your parking job. Okay. Here he is okay. backing up the truck. Oh, oh she's nice. in a big rig, huh? Bring it. Oh, hell oh, yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he drives to <laughs> Walmart even. <laughs> this guy. Is that a, Reminds me of that last time we watched Bobo. This is the shit my older brother does. Like he just Hell yeah. Precision. Oh, look at that. Woo! This man knows how to drive. Ten. Damn. Ten out of ten. Out of ten. I, I give Woo! that a ten. And he's lined up perfect. He's lined up. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even need back. no like yeah! brake work. Hey, That's hey, ten. Hey, you need a promotion. We call that tension. Woo! The domino table. Give this man a promotion. That's uh. <laughs> Excellent work. He ain't fucking around. Well done. My father had a trucking company, you know, like, and if he still had it today, rest in peace, I would be like, yo, we got to hire that motherfucker pop. Right? Yeah. Let's go. He's going to the top. He's yeah. going to the top. He's yeah. our top driver. He's going to own that company one day. Sorry, big bro. That's our. <laughs> yeah, that's our guy. <laughs> that's our guy right there. Oh, yeah. We got Jester up in here saying, finally setting up the fish tank again. Got a 75 Whoa. gallons in here. What? Oh, nice. I'm yeah. trying to get a fish tank soon. So, yeah, that's cool. Some piranhas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put some piranhas in there. Yeah, a bunch really? of piranhas. I'll tell you what, though. When you do a nice tank, man, it's very zen-like. You could get high or go on yeah. shrooms yeah, and, yeah. and just, like, Meditate, meditate you know, five hours. Yeah. yeah, if you got a good good uh, setup going. Yeah. Let me tell you what, our our bro Rojo from Redline Reserve, he used to have like a huge tank. I think it was like a seven hundred gallon tank. Oh yeah, big, yeah. Prop maybe bigger. Wow, it might have been bigger. He had like a Vegas style tank in his crib, and he had like a bunch of shit, so many corals and different fish, and did, like it was a pretty awesome tank. Kind of overdid it, but you know That's it was a pretty huge good. tank. That must have looked so cool, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was pretty fucking. Uh, Damn, it was pretty big. Awesome. Oh, salute to Rojo. Rojo. Salute, salute. We got Mars Fu up in here showing off some art. Hey, there it is. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. That's dope. That's dope. I like it. I like art like that. It's you know? kind of crazy. Oh yeah. Some, some like. It's like you, a mushroom pick. Yeah, 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 some crazy stuff. Imagine that. Dissected the Pink Panther. Oh, <laughs> the innards of. It's a statement. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. oh, yeah. And the last one so far up in here, we got a shape up in here saying, this skateboard was made by Penswood. Pretty sure this is a rare skateboard, and it's an original from the early 2000s. Nice. It is. Oh, look at that, yeah. Yep. 
Damn. Very rare, man. Let's go. Let's go. It's got some good boards there, man. Got the bowling ones. It's tight. Fucks with the skateboards too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Those are hard right there. Yeah. And that seems to be it so far. Word up. Thank you for the submissions. Keep them coming to BeRealTV contest at gmail.com and we will put them on. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know what? When I left here yesterday and I got home, I was pretty goddamn high. Because <laughs> here's the thing, right? I started the show with, with uh, one of Cali Blaze's hash holes, right? Okay. And uh, that was pretty potent. Mm, indeed. And I finished that, <clears throat> and then one of the fans was like, hey, man, you're supposed to do, like, you know, the cush-ups you talked about on Tony A's show, which was me doing 20 cush-ups, meaning 20 consecutive hits, hits right? Okay. Because uh, Wiz talked about doing 10, and on Tony A's show, I said, yeah, I'll do 20, whatever. It's nothing to me. <laughs> so... I smoked that fucking hash hole, hash hole, and then I did the first twenty, and then they, they some fucker was complaining about the hits, so I did it again, but Ooh. bigger hits. Ooh. By the time I got home, I was really, really high. I was <laughs> so <laughs> it didn't, it doesn't hit me till later. Ah, uh, like as we sit here, it's you nothing. Have a slow weed metabolism. Yeah, hits me later. Shh, man. When I got home, I was like, I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> like somebody calls me, uh-uh, you're waiting mm -hmm. till tomorrow. Nope. Or later. After, so after a good little nap or something. Nah, I don't do the naps. You really? know, I just, oh, I just ride it out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, like, yeah, I don't always do them, but it's a good once in a while, you know? Yeah. Take a little nap. Yeah. yeah I like it. I, I, I'll take a nap, but it's usually by the help of like something else. Like if it's like, <laughs> if I have like beer, like two beers after lunch and I'm yeah. tired. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like if, if your you know, body shutting down after yeah. that, it's like. Yep. Or if you have, if you smoke like a hash hole midday, and sometimes then you're really tired. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're out, gonna out. take that nap. Nap yeah, time. Gonna, but that shit feels good though. So when you wake feels up. Good, oh, no, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Good. And you wake up. You feel really great. Hard, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Ready to start again. And, so, I'll, yeah. and I'll tell you what, the hash holes just like the flavor on them are like ridiculous ridiculous because you're yeah. not only getting, like if it's some good weed like you're getting that and then you know the terps from from the concentrate man yeah. that shit is on another yeah. level yeah and cali blazes are those hash holes are always on point man. oh man they're on point like a motherfucker i burned myself twice falling asleep smoking a hash hole you did yeah. you burned yourself like Damn. like like on the chair i'm watching a movie yeah. And then I'm just, like i'm just I'm smoking <laughs> and I, I, I you know i'm chilling so i'm like i have some shorts on and just chilling and then like like I'll, I'll have it like like resting right here on the chair, and then I'll knock out, dude. And then the fucking the 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 cherry will hit my leg, and I and I'll be woken up to a burn. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll be like, oh man, what the fuck? And then yeah, I drop it, then the tip breaks. You're you're, you're, you're a danger, <laughs> dangerous person, dude. Yeah, bro. Light the whole house on fire. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Burn it down. Those marble floors. <laughs> hey, am I saying that's right? The Alchemist has a new project with Wiki yep. and Mike. Yeah. All right. Announced a new joint called Faith. Is a rock. Oh, Faith is a rock. Alchemist yep. is dope, man. Alchemist yeah. is one of the best ever. Ali. Word up. Some yeah, what up, Al? Wiki and Mike. Yeah, man. It's been a while since he's been on. Yeah. We got to get him on. Yeah, he yeah. just steady working. Yeah. Boring putting it. out heat. But that's what you, you know, like, that's what you do if you're a producer. You know what I mean? You find the projects that you, exactly. you know, that you will get behind and that you like, you vibing off of it and go. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it's a trip that he, he does it like that. Like, just he, you know what I mean? He doesn't wait. Yeah. Definitely not. Nah, and plus he just, he puts out all these, these, projects that are just just dope yep. like yeah there's not like there's no filler on any of his records you know what i mean and it's all with these different artists it's like some like that are like newer and some that are like older the, the work he does with like action bronson yeah yeah action bronson is cool yeah yeah yeah, 
Yeah, and yeah, he's been doing a lot of great shit. Yeah, they work well. To, they like they put yeah. out. Yeah, heat. they have a good. They have a good chemistry yeah, together. Yeah, him yeah, and yeah. Yep. Definitely have a good chemistry. Oh yeah. Yeah. S- same with Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah, uh, yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I love Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah, man. Sweatshirt. They got him and Alchemist got a new record as well. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, those are the people exactly the people that should be working together. Yeah, yeah he's putting in their work. And Common and Pete Rock just uh, did something. That's gonna sound crazy. That's gonna be crazy. That's a right. dope combo for like a hip yeah. for hip hop heads that like. Yeah. That's gonna be interesting, right? Ooh. Cause you know Common's gonna kill it on some yeah. super rad Pete Rock beats. Yeah. Boom bap, jazz, yeah. jazz. Yeah, this is gonna be a good combo right here. Yeah, man. Cause you know traditionally, Common rapped over a lot of jazz stuff, but mm-hmm. it was like you know producer from his, their camp. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to get with Pete Rock, <sighs> that's gonna be some different business right there, boy. Mm-hmm. You remember the first time they worked together, Pete Rock produced the common diss, his diss to Ice Cube. Really? Called Bitchin' You. Bitchin'. Yeah, I remember, remember the song. I didn't know it was. I, love yeah. I didn't know Pete Rock produced it. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's ill. Yeah. And so they worked together, and I was always like, I always wondered, damn, what's it going to sound like if they, you know, if they work with each other again? And here we are. They're here dropping, we are. Dropping a whole album. Your wonderment. Manifested it, son. I wonder. That's long overdue, though, man. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. some some people should absolutely work together, that's, and that was definitely that's, a combo. That's definitely the master of the the SP twelve hundred. Yeah, man. He rock. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. He he, does, he does incredible things with that machine. Yeah, he does. He's yeah. a magician with that shit, man. Yeah. Right? The goat. Yeah. And when you think about <laughs> what what. The, the time that you had to sample on the SP-1200. Ten seconds. That's all you had. Ridiculous. And they made magic with those Ooh, 10 seconds. Man. Yep. Man. Yeah. This it's crazy when you all think that, about All it. that Nas shit he did, all that SP-1200? SP-1200. Yeah. Because when you got the formula of it, it, it became easier for you. Like learning how to sample on it and program the beats, and it's mm-hmm. 10 seconds yep. of sample time, so like everything had to be like, Bits. Yeah, be creative. Loops of bits. Yep. Got to do a lot of gnaw shit. Now, yeah. Now with all the, <laughs> now with all the technology, man, you got all this time. Yeah. So you, you know, it's if you have that knowledge, you could do so much crazier shit. Yeah, crazy. I did yeah. hear back from Steftone, and Steftone said, "Shout out to you, Diego." Oh, oh shit. From yeah. Steftone, he is watching. Oh, hell oh yeah. Hell he watches got, and listens yeah. every day. And he also oh, said he yeah. saw your. Latest video with all the balloons. Oh yeah, yeah, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that one was a little wild, but yeah, tell him yeah. I said I appreciate Same it. Same team. Yeah. Like, so, he's out there. He's out like there balloons. listening yeah. right yeah. now. He like he likes he likes balloons too. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. It does he for sure? <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. That's legendary, man. Legendary. I love that. Oh man. That there's a couple trippy stories in here today, uh, but happy birthday to the legendary Nas, if we haven't said uh, it already. Yeah, happy birthday. 50. Happy 50, 50, 50 years old, man. He's in the Nifty 50 Club, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You be. Yeah. yeah, man. And he's he's putting out a record tonight at 6 p.m. This is uh, his... Yes. Uh, uh, Nas is his, got, his, like... His, uh, this is his last record, apparently. Oh, wow! Man, I'm that's gonna crazy. fill up my Nas tank just. I don't know if I. <laughs> I don't know if I. Be, I don't know if I believe uh, this is his last record, though. I. Don't I, don't so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know, man. It what? probably. It's felt like hype. You know, it probably builds hype. You know. I would. I would agree with this. Yeah. I think it might be the last one with them, him and Hit Boy working solely together. Yeah, yeah probably that. So it's supposed. To, this is the Magic yeah. Three, which is ending the yeah. trilogy. Shout out oh, Magic. Shout okay. out Hit Boy too, man. Yeah. Well, Hit, Boy. Hit Boy's sick. If yeah. that's the case, that's good marketing on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, he's got too many bars left in him to like yeah. be like, you know, I'm done with this B. Yo, six album yeah. in three years. All with Hit Boy too, right? And all with Hit Boy. Hit Boy's dope, man. Yeah, dude. Hit sick. Boy, yeah, is like one of the best. One of the best. You know, I don't think they give him enough flowers. Yeah. Nah, no. man. He got heat. Yeah. Flowers to Hit Boy, man. Oh, yeah, and happy birthday, Nas. Cheers. Happy birthday, Nas. Come on, do your next series with me, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. Word up.
about a TSA agent was caught stealing money from a carry-on that. bag. I man. saw what? that. I saw that, man. Oh. That's crazy because I travel a lot, so it's like just to see that. It was like, damn, that's well, crazy. What did he do? So he was stealing money from what? A carry-on. Here carry it goes. On. Oh. Yeah, look, look at that. He's like, let me see what's up uh, in here. Grimy. Ah, uh, hold on. He's like, give me, give, give me this. That's so whack, man. Yeah, that is whack. And how, you know, like. You know you're on camera. I mean, you oh. work at the airport. Ah, that's dirty. That's wild. That dude went really far. Oh. And the other guy. And, 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 and at the air, oh. yeah. And the other guy. And at the airports, oh they're always God. like telling you to, oh, you gotta respect the TSA agents to the utmost authority. And then this Look is what that. they're doing. Come and again. another bag right here. This guy right here. He got. He hit two bags. Dirty. What's he take? Damn. Whatever he can. Oh. Whatever he can stick in his pocket. Money. People got cash in their wallet. They Man, they need to. Wallet. Hey, whoever is vetting the people that get hired for this, they need to get fired. So you you got to check your wallet in too when you throw it in them baskets. Yeah, it's like yeah. whoever is hiring these people, they need to get. Fired. That's why you got to carry your money in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. Cause you can't have TSA agents doing this, man. That's, mm -hmm. they're like Hell they're like nah. federal authorities, bro. Like. Well, these two bastards got caught. Good for them, especially this guy right here. I mean, it's so stupid. Yeah, he keep though. going yeah. in. It's Look at that. I like, how does he not know that there's not a camera? That there's a camera. He thinks on he him. got like this, the slightest of hands. Like you can just. Like, what are you doing? Do you think that the homie on the camera right there has got your back? Like everything isn't filmed. I mean, yeah. To some hey, people, it might look stupid. like, oh yeah, he's just working. You know, yeah, no, that ain't work. Right he's massaging there. the bag. Massaging They're not the bag. supposed to do that. <laughs> massaging the bag. Yeah, he's massaging. Quick. Oh, clearly <laughs> taking <laughs> shit out. Even his homies are like, man, yeah, they, we're they, going to jail. <laughs> like they don't, like they're not really believing that everything is camera. See, they're hitting just they backpacks. I don't know because they see the cameras. And, like they see, the, they have to. Nah, nah. And they're hitting backpacks mostly. Not, they're not hitting any, you know, big carry-ons. It's nah. only backpacks with zippers that you could like look in real quick. Yep. Hey, man. And but they know that it, start checking these motherfuckers when you go to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, man. Don't and they notice. know that you're taking off somewhere, so if you're just gonna forget it, think you lost yeah, it, yeah. never come back. That you know? dude's done though. Like, yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. This guy's a bad example, you know. He's, He's done. Bad example. Like, like me personally, I never, I never just like just take off and leave leave my bags there. I always wait till my bags go yeah, through, yeah, then yeah. I'm going through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I do the same. Like I don't just oh nah. yeah, I just leave my shit there, you know, laptops and all crap. I'm not nah. I definitely do I this. I keep thing. hella watch. Hell uh, yeah. You have to. Have to kick heads like that up in there. Damn TSA. Hmm. TSA, y'all need to screen y'all employees better, man. Yeah, better, man. That like a, and a lot of them have bad attitude. They got bad yeah, attitude with saying. you, they and then really they'll steal do. from you yeah. like that. That's, that's what I was saying. On. It's like they can't be having that type of attitude, and then that's what they're doing behind you know. I uh, know it's just one bad apple. There, there's probably a lot of good TSA agents. Yeah, for sure, the absolute. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's just that's that's crazy to see that. You know, I never thought I'd see something like that. That is crazy because that was blatant. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, and he like it's like so blatant. He knows he's being filmed. It's like just so many things wrong with it. Yeah, you're know? working in an area where it's being filmed. Yeah. And they're watching, and he's just blatant about it. Yeah. So no he was regard. going out, man. He just didn't care. He did, he did not give a fuck. Not one. <laughs> Fucks he gave none. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. But him and his homie are done. Yeah. Because it was him mostly, but they showed his homie going yeah, and grabbing something real quick. He's accomplice in it for yeah. sure. Yeah. Once you make it on TMZ, like, everybody sees that. And then, and then you know, if there's a ring of them, it's coming down soon. Yeah. Because, mm. you know, one guy to, to save his own ass will give up the other one. Exactly. Yeah. No, the, these guys always figure out a way, though. <laughs> oh well they're okay. always yeah, gonna yeah, figure yeah, out a way. They definitely do. Oh yeah, the yeah, camera's yeah. here, so we gotta yeah, do they're, some other things. <laughs> <laughs> we got well, he they're like he Damn. did not care. That camera was yeah, he, he went like, far. Right, it's like right there. Yeah. And he went he chased a bag. Like he chased it. Yeah, he he forgot something. He was like <laughs> he's like I'm gonna go use the restroom, we'll be back. No worries. All right, well we do that. We're gonna say uh once again, smash that like, subscribe. <laughs> Comment, share the show out, crack the all notification bell, and uh, remember tomorrow or today there is a mix right after this.
All right, on Twitch, B underscore Real TV is the place. Psycho, Lizzie, and I. That's right. Right. Uh, if you got a Twitch account, come join us. If you got a Be Real TV membership, join us there at www.bereal.tv because the mix will be popping off there. If you haven't become a member there, please do. And, uh, you know, get up on the mix. Si, senor. Word up. And uh, with that, we are now going to open up the doors to the insane asylum. So uh, if you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, we want to hear it. Let's go. Welcome to the insane asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Cell Zero up in here asking, what's the difference between rap and hip-hop? I think rap is more polished and hip-hop is more grimy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to me, hip-hop is a lifestyle. Like, we live a hip-hop lifestyle. It's a culture. Rap is rap. I rap. When you rap on the mic, you know, that's rap. Yeah, didn't care. Hip-hop is a a lifestyle, yeah. Like, you know, me, Be Real, we hip-hop. After this, we go and do more hip hop things and just live a hip hop. You know, that's a culture. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. I think Kara said it best in the song uh, Rap is something you do, hip hop is something you live. live. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we live this. Yep. And there's different style of rap, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah rap. Absolutely. Rapidly rap. Many genres in it. Within it, yeah. Within, yes. We got David up in here saying, I've seen horrible horse riding accidents at the track when I work there. I'm Ooh. not getting on no horse. Oof. Yep. Ezo wants to. He's got to get a trained horse. Well, they're all trained. Unless you're in the wild. <laughs> He's wild, B. And he wants to go, I'm going to go out in the wild and try to tame one. Crazy horse. <laughs> That'd be badass. Bring it. We got J-Max C saying, yo, we don't Yellowstone the same. Let's go. Ah. Yeah. Dude, I mean, they, Yellowstone, I miss that show. It's coming. When the strike's over. When the strike's over, right? Everything's all paused. But there are a couple of shows that are saying, hey, we are going back. We're not going to use any writers, but we're going back. Like Bill Maher yep. is coming back. He's he's uh, cutting out his monologue yep. in anything where he used to use writers at. Yep. Uh, I believe they're... They're tripping on Drew Barrymore because she's bringing her show back. Yep. I think three or f- three of her writers are on that strike line right now. Damn. And they're tripping on her. Yep. And one other, I can't remember who it was, but like there was three people bringing their shows back and they were like, yeah. we're just, we're, we're going to do it without the writers. Yeah. But we're going to cut those pieces out where it was, where, where they were contributing. Yeah. The show must go on. That's yep. that's what Bring they it. were saying. Yeah, it's crazy though. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's so like people are losing. Yeah, they're that, breaking the line. Yeah, and this is the longest the strike has been. Wasn't the last one like ninety something days? Yeah. I believe the last one was like yeah. only ninety something days, and we're now in the hundred and thirty six, thirty seven, or maybe more. Streaming wow. services are killing right now. Yeah, and they're the ones that are that have created the whole reason for the strike. Because they're not paying, yeah. You know, for you know, they they paid a one time licensing fee yeah. or something like new that. media, new media, yeah. Yeah, oh, a- Aaron Paul uh, from uh, Breaking Bad. He was in the walk in the picket line. He was he recently revealed that he gets zero percent of anything from Netflix. But he That's made crazy. million. That's crazy. You know, he gets nothing from, I mean, cause imagine like, you know, yeah, you get paid for your original work, but you should be paid for what, you know. So like, here's the thing, right? So let's just say that um, Breaking Bad gets re-ran on another network, right? Mm-hmm. They get paid for that yep. because that was a part of the standard deal. If it goes on network TV of any kind, you know, they will get, residuals royalties whatever right but on netflix it was a different deal it's much like the way that when we made music it goes out a certain way we make money off it via the publishing and royalties and all that stuff but when it went to let's just say apple music we didn't have any piece of the negotiation there so the artist all their art for all the all our art we got the smallest piece on the deal of any stream 
for any download sale. You know what I mean? So and it's the same thing that happened with some of these writers and some of these actors and some of these shows where their their movies or TV shows went on the these streaming services where you know they reap a lot of the benefit of of these shows that replay and replay and replay and they don't get nothing from it. Damn. <laughs> How about that? That's it's, it's real deal. Breaking it down for you. Man. Right there. You know, so like that, you know, when you think about it, our, our, our records, you know, as artists, when they spun on rotation anywhere, we, you know, get paid based off of spins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? And uh, it's a different number for what you would get paid for those spins as opposed to the streams. Damn. When you think about it, it's like we're, as we might have gotten a certain percentage, which is much higher here based on radio plays than what we get on stream plays. So our money is cut not even in half. It's cut to a third Damn. as an artist. Wow. Unless you got some sort of special deal you ran with your label. That's pretty much what it is. Old as ice. Yep. yep. Yeah, crazy. We got Danny Rod up in here saying, looking good and healthy, Diego. Shout out to my daughter, Sarah, who is a big fan of yours, and we saw your show at the Glass House a while ago. It was hey, great times. Hey, thank you so much. Yo. Shout out to Sarah. I love you guys. It means a lot that you can see that. Um, yeah, that means the world to me. I love you guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And we got stars up in here asking, Diego, have you ever done something wild like skydiving or bungee jumping? Oh man, I I man, that's a good question. Maybe I would, I would probably skydive. Yeah, I'd probably skydive. Jump out of a plane. Yeah, I'd probably do it at least once in my life. That'd be fun. Red Red Man has done it a few times. Oh wow, ah, we trip off that. What is it like, man? That's I don't crazy. know, but yeah, I would imagine when you jump, your stomach tightens. Ah, <sighs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's, uh, I'd be down though. Ah, Didn't down. you just get certified as yeah. like? He could probably be an, inst an instructor now. Yep. Dude. I think he's done it over 30 times. Wow. <laughs> nah, oh, I'm dude. Good. Damn, 30, 30 jumps. <laughs> hey, I'm good. Yeah, I would do it with someone that had, like... He's, uh, yeah. he's gotten real familiar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a lot of jumps, yeah. I'd feel, I'd feel confident. I feel safe. And we got a midget mic up in here asking Diego, what's your favorite hip-hop moment as a hip-hop fan? Favorite hip-hop moment as a hip-hop fan... Oh, that's a good one, man. Um, favorite hip hop moment throughout like the era. Ah, oh, like hip hop moment. I liked like the the early two thousands, maybe late nineties, early two thousands, like uh Pharrell, the like the Neptunes, you know, N E R D. That was a good time. Um, in music. Yeah, old old uh, Snoop Dogg too, Pharrell. That was just a time, man. I just was big on like N E R D, you know. I loved all that type of stuff. They lost soul, uh, Trap Called Quest. Yeah, it's a good moment. And RD had a crack in for a Yeah. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Those early two oh, thousands, wow. man. They were, you know, I'm a big fan of the Neptunes and yeah. uh, all, everything they did. Yeah. It was a good moment. We got Big J up in here saying show to ain't going out like that in the Blue Beetle movie. Word. Salute. And we got hits from the Wong up in here saying, um, ask Diego about his face tats. I'm in New Zealand, so face tats are cultural here. Some gangs use them here with similarities to Tomoko, and then I've got oh, wow. mates with them for aesthetic reasons. Yeah, that's crazy. I've been in New Zealand. I've been to Auckland and Wellington. They're such a beautiful, uh, such a beautiful place, man. Beautiful people, too. Nice. They're very nice. Um, that's wild. Yeah, I guess it, it kind of is the... Gangster over there, probably maybe. I don't know. Yeah, don't uh, they do the, the tattoos with the with the needles, right? The yeah, hammer. Some, some of maybe them, yeah. So, yeah, some places some do that. Do, yeah. yeah, I definitely do it for like aesthetic reasons. Definitely, per, like yeah, purely aesthetic and and art, mostly for art, you know. But yeah, I, I've been I've been actually denied into some some bars and stuff because of my face tattoos, and it's crazy. It's like we don't want no part of it. Man. Yeah, I'm like I'm not in the gang. I swear to God, like you know? sure you're not. Yeah, it's like <laughs> all right, whatever, you know. Beer gang. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to party, man. I just need, hang. I just want to drink. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's all love. It's all love. 
<laughs> we got Jason up in here saying, my little bro is Diego's age, and he is currently on his own rehab path. Appreciate you for being honest about your journey and much respect. Oh, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Yeah, and give your give your, uh, my best wishes to your bro, man. That means a lot. He'll get through this. He'll get through this. And we got an E-man up in here saying, Diego, I heard you mention your family is from Mexico City, and I'm curious if you've ever traveled there. Yeah, yeah, my dad was born in Mexico City, and I traveled when I was, yeah, I traveled when I was a lot younger. Um, I haven't been back. We had a whole tour planned of, like, going down to Mexico, South America, all that, uh, but the pandemic messed that all up. Um, so we will be back there soon. We will be back there. Uh, but no, I, only when I was a kid visiting family did I go out there. When I was like 8 to 12. Yeah. We'll be back soon, though. And we got Shane up in here asking, what helped you get clean and stay clean? Did you have to remove yourself from situations like move out, move out of L.A. or cut off social media or cut off some friends? All, all of the above, honestly. I had to cut off social media for a while. I had to cut off a lot of people that were yes men in my life, people that had ulterior motives that, you know, I would later find out, you know. Um, yeah, and I moved to OC. I live in Orange County now. So I, I got out of, like, the whole L.A. kind of, you know, it, it could be, it could be, it's like a rabbit hole, you know. You could fall too deep, you know. You can get stuck in it, man. So, uh, yeah, I relocated and... Um, I have about 18 months sober, and I feel good, and just going to keep going strong every day. You know, it's one day at a time. That's but right. Get around for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Congrats. I appreciate y'all, though. Cheers. Oh, yeah, man. Congrats, man. And we got Bud up in here asking, Diego, can you talk about who produces your beats? Do you have many producers or just one? Oh, yeah. I have meant a lot. Probably, uh, you know... We, we use a lot of people, but it comes down to, there's yeah, there's like a few. Kinfolk John, shout out Kinfolk John, uh, my main producer. Bobby Johnson, you know, uh, still producing stuff to today. Um, shout out Alex, shout out Josh. Yeah, we have a really close-knit team of producers. Uh, and on this next project, you'll hear, like, what that sounds like sonically, like, what this group that we've been around. Uh, it's hard to explain. You'll like it, man. You're going to like the project. It's going to be yeah. And we got take a little trip with me telling the table I ate DMT last week for the first time. <laughs> right He's on. saying God is super real. Hey, did you see the machine elves? That's what you see apparently on DMT. You see machine elves. Bring it. <laughs> wow. That's what I heard in a study. I, I didn't see that. Have you ever done a D zone? Yeah, I've done DMT before. How'd you feel? Whoa, 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 whoa. It just looked very geometric to me. That's it, and it didn't last that long. It was more geometric of an experience for me. You just saw things in shapes, or yeah, kind of not like Tron, but just like Tron type of shapes. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Though. Sounds fresh. I just it didn't last long enough though. Like what? Eight minutes? Ten minutes? Like way less. Really? Yeah. Five minutes almost. Yeah, about wow. there. Interesting. Yeah, those are like real short. Short those. We got Midget Mike up in here asking Diego, how was it working for Columbia Records? Oh, yeah, uh, Columbia Records. It was, uh, at first, yeah, it was really good. Um, you know, until I, I, I uh, you know, went on a crazy uh, sub... Thank you so much. Until I went on, like, a crazy, like, drug-fueled rampage screaming, you know, screw the label and, and oh, all this, and, you know, um, which I regret a lot of those decisions. But they're, they're, it's a good company. Shout out to Columbia. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that they had to deal with the, the crazy part of my life, you know. I'm a lot better now, but, you know, <laughs> you had to deal with the crazy Lil Xan back then. But it was good, yeah, they're, they're a good label. Shout out Ron Perry, man. Wasn't that your label, B? Yeah, um, for, well, for about 16, yeah. 17 years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I got love for them, man. Yeah, Shout salute. out Ron Perry. Yeah, salute to them. We got Mr. Civic Turbo saying, damn, E-Zone, you were on a sick one this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you were? No, not this morning. No, oh, that's what he's saying in the chat. I don't, oh, <laughs> I'm not, no, not this morning. I was, I was sweating when I was uh, up hiking this morning, and I did notice that I, your sweat smell has that little hint of, of like, yeah, of like weed when, because Mm -hmm. you know, all the oil in your body. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, that's it, though. Sweating. Oil. We do a lot. Just... We got Midget Mike up in here asking, Yo, Diego, can you roll your R's? 
<laughs> my R's. Yo, you know, that's that's I love that you asked that. I went to speech therapy for eight years to uh to for the the letter R. I, you know, I had such a problem saying like R. Um, so I probably would butcher that. <laughs> so, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colt Bolton up there can't, you know, he yeah. can't roll an R to save his life. No. We got to sign him to that school. <laughs> I, I would yeah. embarrass myself, and then it would go viral. And then <laughs> I can't have that. Rodolfo. <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> All right, next. And we got Panda and Jibby up in your show to you guys for rating us with your party on Twitch. Word. Hell yeah. And we got Hybrid Cypher up in here saying, shout to Les, watch out now, be E-Zone and Diego at the table. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. Thank you. And we got Brian up in here saying, you guys need to get Wheeler Walker Jr. on the show. Oh, he oh, is right. He's a funny country music star. Word. He's got some heat. You gotta DM him. That'd be dope. And we got that Vital Chris D bands up in here saying, shout to the whole table and dope guest today, guys. Yo, Diego, what's your ethnicity? I am uh, Hispanic and and European, yeah. And I appreciate you. We got a shout out, Victor Hill. He's saying he's three years alcohol free today. Hey, We're dope. Dope. Congratulations. hey congratulations, man! Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm proud of you. That's dope. That's a super dope one. One day at a time. Yep, I love yep. that. Yeah. And we got Kale up in here asking Diego, how does it feel to be at the table with the smoking giants? It feels amazing. These guys are legends, man. And I feel like, you know, just being able to soak up this knowledge and game is, you know, is legendary. So I'm very appreciative. You know. And we got Bud Rich up in here. Just want to shout out the strong death tone of the death tones. Yes. yes. Definitely. Salute to the strong one. The strong yeah. one. He'll be on tomorrow. Shout out Tee Lee. Tee Lee. Same tea. And we got an OG tone up in here, the last one so far for Super Chat, saying, if you have permission of a wall or spot, it's street art culture vulture, he's saying. If you don't have permission, that's bombing, a.k.a. graffiti. Yeah, oh, I know what you're saying. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you oh, mean. If you have permission, it's street art, and if, if, if you don't, it's bombing. Yeah, Ta- bombing, like tagging oh, okay. bombing. Yeah, yeah, okay. From earlier. What do you call the shit on the train? <laughs> <laughs> bombing, bombing, <Yeah>. vandalism. <laughs> yeah, they, that's what they say. They go yeah. bomb trains, right? Yeah, B- violating because they didn't have no permission. <laughs> nah, not by the city. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, nah, fam. Nah, fam. They had to sneak on. They had like At the night. whole process of it was pretty gangster. You had, they had to, to sneak into the train yard, mm-hmm. bomb it before it got out, yeah. and not get caught. And sometimes get chased out of there. Yeah. I think it's also crazy, like, on the freeway passes sometimes, how they be having some murals. It's like, damn, how do y'all do that? Like, I know it's late at night and stuff, but it's still, like, it's it's art. You know, I like it. It's cool. I wonder, you know, like, how fast they get it up. Because I've never been driving and they, run into that. Like They're, someone, they're, like, they're working really fast. Yeah, because yeah, I've never run into it, like, driving late at night. I've never seen it's it. It's like, real yeah. quick. You got to get up there, know what you're going to do. And Real quick. Yeah, yeah, like highway for a patrol, piece, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Highway patrol would be there so quick, like, probably, yeah. Like, I can only imagine. If someone sees it and reports it, yeah. Probably, like, between 15 and 20, maybe 30 minutes. I'd be mm-hmm. worried that a cop would just be driving by. You know what I mean? That's oh, what yeah. I'd be worried about. Ah, man. Yeah. But shout out to the art of it, you know. Bombing, oh, yeah. Tagging, that's, yeah. Oh, there's some really dope artists out there these days. Yeah, dope. I, I love the culture. All over the world. You know, there's always a, the lookout guys that's looking out. Oh, you have? Oh, to. yeah. You cannot go without yeah. a couple yeah. of those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, you got to have, yeah. Nice yeah you want to do it right, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. you want to do it right, and you want to have, you know, the time to get away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to have a yeah, couple. Maybe like a getaway driver, too. Yeah, look at that. Look at this train. They get Woo! This one right that's here. pretty. I like that one. Like that. Awesome. That's crazy yeah. that it started, you know, in in New York and grew outside of that. Oh yeah. It's, it started as like a very niche, just small thing, yeah. and now it's you in, know in, you got banks uh, outside there. and the inside was bomb. Yeah. We would I would sit there, and and just be reading all these tags and crazy names and kind of crazy shit. <laughs> yeah. Man. 
crazy that it's like a part of the culture. We got to bomb this train, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for, yeah, for the culture, we yeah. got to bomb this and train. And everybody always had a little marker, boom, you get your little. Yeah, yeah, like when you see like a movie like logo. Wild Style. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that right there, too. That's really cool. If yeah. no one ever heard of a movie yeah. called Wild Style. Good set design. Yeah. You're going to sit there and just start looking around all these graffiti tags and shit. Just hunt, Ooh, hunt that movie called Wild Style. Yeah. Yeah. It's Wild almost style. like the ancient times when they used to draw on like the stones and stuff. Yep. You know, yep. it's the same thing, man. Yep. You know. uh, yeah. What was the other one? There was another one. Uh, graffiti Wars or Star Wars. Star Wars. 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 There you yeah. go. That was a good one too. Yeah. Star Wars. History. Y'all ever watch that uh, Exit Do the Gift Shop movie? Yep. Yep. Good movie. Yeah, really man. Good movie. Really good movie. It's an art piece in itself, you know. But yeah, it's a it's a really good movie. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, man. You got any more up there, Fulton? Um, let's see here. We got Andy B. Shot Me. He's saying, Diego, you're the man, homie. Thank you so much for coming to Be Real TV today. Oh, man. No, thank you for tuning in, bro. You're the real MVP, man. Appreciate you. Awesome. And we got GDP Smoke up in here saying, salute to the Dr. Greentham show and the highest podcast crew. Smoked on some Hindu funk and some Mamba Juice last night, and it was fire. Well, thank you, man. He's saying, dope episode last week Week with Cheech and Chong. Hey, yeah, legend. got lucky with that one. That was awesome. Legends. Awesome. And we got a last one so far. Mosh Pit up in here asking Diego, what was the motivation for the new song, Used To? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, the motivation, just, you know, just trying, just being inspired by my newfound sobriety and uh, me wanting to learn, uh, you know, to just be better at music, you know, in general. Like, I love my old stuff, but I'm always striving to be better as a human, as an artist, and... Um, yeah, it goes all into that song. I'm very proud of that song. It's one of my favorite songs I ever made. So, you know, a lot of more live instruments and stuff. And uh, expect more stuff like that, too. More relatable, uh, authentic music. Yeah, that's what I like to make. And just got one more in. We got Hesh right up in here saying, What up to everyone? Happy Thursday. Yo, Diego, finally at the table. Salute. I mm. met him at a house party in Malibu just before the pandemic. I don't think he knew who I was, or maybe he thought I was someone else, but he walked up to me, dapped me up like I was a long-lost homie. And he's saying, awesome. Diego, you are one cool dude and hey. one love. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I like to show uh, love and respect to everybody, even if I might not recognize you, man. So shout-out to you, man. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. And salute to everybody uh, with the interaction today, man. Uh, we appreciate you. Appreciate your love, support, and energy, as always. Once again, we invite you to the mix show after this show. Going to be popping it off right here direct. If you're on Twitch, stay on it. If you're watching from the home site, uh, bereal.tv, stay on it. And we're going to, you know, pop it off shortly. But I want to thank... Diego for sitting there with us. Thank you so much for having me, man. I appreciate you know all of y'all for letting me you know just mm. be here. Well, First of many times, bro. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, word up. Oh, yeah. Let them know where they can find you. Just yeah, I mean if you you could if you look hard enough on the internet, I'm sure they can find me. But uh, you know we got a new single used to that just dropped, and we got two singles so pretty and Noda that just dropped too. Go check them out on all platforms uh, for me, and I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Love you guys. C minus. Uh, thanks to everyone here at the table. Uh, thanks to Treehouse crew. Thanks to everyone that's been in the chat. Uh, you can follow me at C minus Fan Four on all the social media. And tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., I'll be doing an all Prince set just uh, for our, our artist spotlight. So tune in. C minus Fan Four on Twitch. Love you, mom. Love you, son. And I'll see you for the mix show after the Dr. Green Thumb show tomorrow fr on Friday over here too. So exclusively on Twitch. See you tomorrow. Cycle easy. Yo, yo, shout out everybody on the check just hanging out with us, the whole crew. Diego for coming through. Word, if you're on the IG, go to the psycholess dot official. And if you're looking for the psycho merch, go to the psycholess shop dot com. It's Thursday. We're about to get it popping with the mix right after the show. Squeeze. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to the Dominator. And what's going on? Uh Who's over there? E Zone, what's happening? Salute for uh, to the week for it not being Wednesday, Colton. Uh, salute to everybody who tuned in yesterday and today. Nice to meet you, Diego. 
Hell and yeah, uh, thank you for uh, picking those hats. Also, make sure you guys check out the new stuff on the website at highandhungry.shop. I'm working on a lot of new merch that's going to be available on October 14th at the High and Hungry Experience at Craft Beer Kings in Huntington Beach. So make sure you guys get your free tickets at highandhungryexperience.eventbrite.com. Over 30 different vendors. Make sure you stop by, um, you know, I mean, an exotic beer selection. And you just show your proof of, uh, you know, registration, you know, for free tickets. And you get 20% off all craft, everything Craft Beer Kings at the store, which is, you know, I mean, Craft Beer King can be pretty, Craft Beer could be pretty expensive, but you get hooked up just for showing up uh, October 14th. So make sure you guys uh, get your tickets for free. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight, 7 to 9 o'clock for the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Believe you could better yourself. Just put the work behind it. Swallow that.